The past is not dead. In fact, it's not even past. William Faulkner's words echo as professors and students take in a new exhibit of 35 rare books at the University of Mississippi's University Museum. The Remnant Trust Collection, ranging from the Magna Carta, which is the equivalent of the first English Bill of Rights, to former slave Frederick Douglass's autobiography, gives some a chance to not only see the past, but to touch it and hold it in their hands. One look at the faces of those viewing the exhibit, and you glimpse the sight of awe, bewilderment, and sometimes a hesitancy to touch. They say, oh, can I really touch it? I said, yes, that's what it's for. That's what they want. They want people to be able to do so that they begin to get a feel for um, what books mean to civilization. Historians and professors Charles Ross and Marvin King were both cautious and a little timid when told they could pick up the first edition of Frederick Douglass's My Bondage and My Freedom. It's a little uh, awe-inspiring, actually, to be able to touch something that is 100 years old, 200 years old, uh, 700 years old, in the case of that Magna Carta. So uh, it really makes you, uh, you get the sense of history when you pick up the documents. But once the shock of holding history in their hands subsides, the weight of the words sinks in. These written words will be around for uh, years to come, decades to come, generations to come. And, uh, you know, that's the beauty of history as a historian, uh, the ability to go back and look at what is taking place and understand it's going to last for subsequent generations to continue to learn uh, from the past. We've read about so many of these these items that are here, but to actually see it and touch it, it does make it more meaningful because you can kind of put yourself back into the time when these documents were written and kind of sense how important they were at the time and, and why we still study them today. And that is the reason the Remnant Trust allows professors, teachers, and their students to not just look through the glass at a copy of the Magna Carta, but to feel the parchment as they turn the pages of the nearly 700-year-old book. The Remnant Trust thinks that if someone is able to touch and read a book, that the ideas expressed and the philosophies and histories expressed will become uh, more real to them, I think would be the best way to, to say it. From the looks on the faces of those experiencing the sight of history through the first editions, it seems Faulkner was absolutely correct.